be of assistance. Of course. <laughs> 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 Even more of these crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. I'm Jolie. Jolie Bindo. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk a bit. <laughs> ah, don't start falling just yet. I'm too old for it. Uh, I know a few things, but we can talk about it at my camp. Keep close. It's nearby, under a log. Yeah, I live like some burrowing rodent. I fought the Sith. Now look at me. Soon! <laughs> 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 
Well, welcome to my home, such as it is. Pull up a stump and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. Don't coddle me, child. I'm neither a Jedi nor your master. I'm just an old man that's been lost in the woods for far too long. My days of glory are behind me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. Uh, what is there to tell? Jolie Bindo is the crazy old man in the dangerous woods. I'm content with the impression I give. Did I? <sighs> you have annoyingly good ears. Well, it doesn't matter. Those days are gone. Leave them in their graves. I've seen my share of the dark and the light. And frankly, both extremes annoy me. Of course, I have felt rumblings of change. I do not feel a taint of the dark side within you, old man. I sense you are a servant of the light, whether you will admit it or not. Well, I assure you, I see more gray than dark or light. I'm just a stubborn old man, tired of the foolishness of others. <sighs> fine, fine, just be brief. Now, why would you be asking about that, hmm? answer. I knew that had to be why you were here. The problems of a few Wookiees don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the map. Kashyyyk is an interesting place, more so than anyone suspects. If Zerka Corporation knew, the planet would be a strip mine. The Wookiees have their legends that they were not always here, but it is more than that. The trees themselves are strangers. What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way, and you won't find what you need without my help. And my help has a price. You must do a task for me, and then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain barriers in your path. Oh, save it. I know this sounds absurd, but I'm old and entitled to work you around a bit. Besides, the test is simple. Since they began expanding in the Shadowlands, the Circa have left me alone for the most part. Until recently, anyway. A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I'd like them removed from this place. They don't respect this place. They're butchering wildlife and threatening entire species. It's getting under my skin. The Wookiees could take care of themselves if they wished, but the animals are truly helpless victims. Oh, please, this is arbitrary errand work. But such are the requests of the aged. You still have to do it. Their camp is in the far northeast. Now remember, if I wanted them dead, I'd have done it myself. Find a better way. Good. Return to me here and we'll see how you have done. Shoo! Shoo!
Who are you, another civil merchant like that coral slime up on the docking ring? This is my territory. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back topside. Mess with my profits, and I'll see you dead. So you're playing tourist? That isn't smart. The Shadowlands are all business. Mess around, and you'll end up dead. That said, if you want to make some credits while you're looking to die, I might have a job for you. I could use an extra hand. A couple men have gone missing. If I lose many more, I'll have to close up shop. We are hunting the little simians, the tack. They have a gland that acts as a stimulant when powdered. I figure I've got two or three wealthy years to butcher the lot of them. You want in before I make them extinct? I really can't quote a price. Depends. All right, then, I'll set you up. First, you need to be able to draw them out. I'll spray you with this scent. It drives them crazy. Then you just carve them up. There's a big fleshy bulb in there. I'd feel guilty if the money weren't so good. Come back here when you've got the glass. Good.
You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. Why am I here? I'm just a guard for this emitter. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? Good. Back again, hmm? Unless you business with me, I suggest you turn around and walk away. I'll take whatever you have. Keep it up and we'll both be rich. Is that old hermit Jolie trying to talk you into doing his dirty work? As long as the sonic emitters keep the Preds away and I've got bodies to guard the perimeter, we're staying right here. I mean, if I can put up with my own worthless guards complaining about this place, Jolie whining through you is nothing. Good. I'm not down here to direct traffic. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the command. Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand. And that's all there is to it. I'm just a guard for this emitter. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? I'm not here because I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter and that's it. Talk to the commander. No more dangerous than walking out on the commander. He'd kill me for disobeying orders. I'm not here because I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter and that's... They generate a sonic barrier that allows us to stay in this wonderful location. It keeps the big predators away. I don't know how it works, really. I just know that if they go down, the camp would be overrun. What of it? I don't like being here, that's for sure. I suppose you could take this code and shut down the emitter I'm guarding. Enough of those emitters go down and the camp will have to move out. But I never said anything. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our harvesting here. Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand. And that's all there is to it. I'm just a guard for this emitter. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? What do you want to know about that? It's just one of five or... I don't like being here, that's for sure. I suppose you could take this code and shut down. Enough of those emitters go down and the camp will... What? Run! Run! Problem. Didn't work. Yes. What is it? I... I have been bothered by something of late. I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child? I suppose I was trying to deny what I was feeling. I have been wrestling with my feelings inside trying to come to terms with it, but I find I cannot. I must have someone to blame. Someone to blame for the destruction of my homeworld. 
Someone who is responsible for the death of everyone I have ever known except those on Dantooine. Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastilla. Taris, my homeworld. If it were not for you and Bastilla, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there and your fault for rescuing Bastilla. Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. Something. Anything. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you, that world would still exist. I know. I suppose I realized that. But it is so hard to lose your entire past. You would not understand. I suppose that is to be expected. Everything will turn out for the best, as long as we remain focused on our task. I am sorry. I will try not to distract you in the future with my trivial experiences. We should stop for now. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? I have been thinking much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine I remained alone. Not ostracized exactly, but separate. In truth, I have lived in the Republic too long, and I know little. I never met any others of my race other than my parents. But we are not diplomats. We do not deal well with groups. This situation is new to me. It is... it is warming. I feel almost welcome. Needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. Yes, and that is my point. I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I am used to. Just thank you for accepting me. How may I be of assistance? What is it you would like? Taras was my home for many years. As much as a rat hole, a warren, a paradise. For me, To walk down the streets, to have people look at you in disgust, like an animal. Most did not know anything about me, but it was there, all the same. Because I was an alien, because I was different from them, frightening. I doubt any of them had even seen my people before. So they persecuted me. They looked down on me and my family, charged us more for food, would not let us walk their streets. They spat on us. You are human. You could not possibly know. That is true, I suppose. But it is much more obvious for someone like me. There were no other Cathar on Terrace. No one to talk to, no one to confide in. <laughs> but you must think me weak for saying this. But I am strong enough to admit it. I thank you for your concern, but uh, maybe I am weak to think that some stories of my stupid past could possibly interest you. I thank you. You are kinder than I would have expected to put up with me using you in this way. 
I hope that I will not use your time so badly in the future. Thank you. How may I be... What is it? Of course. How can I help? Kashik is a planet where most of what you see... Beyond that, there is little else. Then I... Welcome back! I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done as I asked? Yes, I could feel it as you walked near. And I don't sense the smell of death on you. You spared them. Interesting. Wasn't there? I suppose not, but the environment would say otherwise if it could talk. No matter. Yes, of course. Let's get moving. I noticed the old path some time ago. You probably wouldn't have found them on your own. There's also a Zerka repulsor field blocking the way, past the poacher camp in the east. I saw it when it was installed, so I know how to pass it. And on the other side, ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you are seeking. I hope he's in the mood for visitors. <laughs> Yes? <laughs> 